Hey everybody, Joe Zero here. A while back, my friend Andrew over at Maple Leaf Customs reached out to me and said he was going on vacation and he wanted to do a buddy build. So I said, well, it's summertime. I like Corvettes. Let's do Corvettes summer. So here we are. Got this Matchbox T-top casting that I found in a five pack. So you're the victim. So here we are, got it all drilled out. Gonna have to make a giant hood scoop for this thing. Figure out that front end, cause it's a very unique car. The back's gotta be different. So let's see what's on the insides. All right, there's the chassis. T-tops, got a clear glass for it. Very cool. Tan interior, which actually matches the interior of the car in the movie. Gonna have to make it right-hand drive, however, so you can get close to the curb for cruising for chicks. And these funky wheels have gotta go. All right, let's get busy. So here we got it in the stripper. I put the stripper on it, and boy, that didn't take long to start stripping. That is funky, woo! So now we got it all stripped down. Gonna polish it up and get it ready for the customizing portion of the activities. My little wire brush. And speaking of customizing, well, I took my jeweler saw and just took the front end off. We gotta figure that weird front out, so let's get busy. There's gonna be some plastic card and scratch building going on here, kids. Buckle your seat belts. So I've got some plastic card inserted to kind of cover that cut that I made. I'm gonna trim it down, file it, and ease it up with the body. That'll help me to make the platform for those weird headlights and that stupid nose cone. It's a really unique car, to be sure. Fiberglass build on a 73 Corvette body originally. Now I'm gonna take this milliput and knead it together. It's a two-part epoxy that dries super hard and is sculptable. I'm gonna use that for the nose cone and the hood scoop. It's also sticky, hence the gloves. So sculpting, we got the basic shapes blocked in, the nose cone, the big hood scoop. I'm gonna use a sanding drum with my Dremel here and just kind of start taking the mass off of it. Sculpting, you know, get it down to shape, use some files, sandpaper. And here I got some plastic square tubing that I'm gonna use to uh, make some little pieces to try to build up the hood details for the intakes or outtakes or blowers, louvers, whatever that hood thing's called. I'm not a mechanic. But here we got some plastic rod we're gonna use for the exhaust. As I used to call them, we used to call them side pipes. <laughs> you know, the muffler thing. Again, I am not a mechanic, I am an artist. And here you can see those little pieces I cut off from the rod make those exhausts. Also put a cool tail fin on it, cause I gotta block that in for the weird rear. And a sliver of plastic card covers that up. We'll trim it down and here we go. Feeling it out, it's starting to come together. Now we take some green stuff, which is also a two part epoxy, you know, mix it together. Blue and yellow make green. Roll out some little snakes and we're gonna use that to fill in some gaps. Kind of ease it up, do a little sculpting. Kind of fill in that right there with a plastic card meets let it dry and we'll sand it down so now while that's drying we'll go ahead and address the base of the car and the wheel situation made a spot where I gotta take off the plastic side pipes because I made my own customs because this thing has some weird custom side pipes or mufflers you know what I'm talking about we went over this before get these wheels out of here snippy snip grab my tweeze and just just like that. And repeat as necessary. Boop. And with the wheels out the way, now I can get to this and take those parts off. So I got the wheels in place here. Some real riders. And I'm gonna use my UV resin pen and just kind of lock it in place. I've gotten spoiled for using this thing. It's so effective, works great, and it doesn't stink like glue. Now with the wheels all secured in place, it's time for the interior, which is tan, which is the color of the car in the movie. So basically, I'm not doing a whole lot here. I'm just gonna hit it with some uh, Agrax Earthshade, come a nice wash to bring out some of the depth and details. You'll notice that I've moved the steering wheel over to be right-hand drive, all you JDM fans. Now these are the custom exhausts I made with that round tube and uh, some paper clips. Angle it out, very interesting look. I'm gonna put these on the car after it's all assembled. Now we're on the paint, got it all primed up. Got my airbrush, gonna give it a gold undercoat. And I'm gonna hit it with some red clear for sort of a 
candy apple red. Yeah. And now I'm going over it with a uh, Tamiya Clear Red. Great paint, love this stuff. Now the movie Corvette Summer came out in 1978. I was probably about 10. Mark Hamill's fresh out of Star Wars and a newcomer named Annie Potts was in it. First screen appearance. Got a Golden Globe nomination for it. Facts. And we're just about done here. Did most of the fine detailing and fiddly stuff off camera cause man, nerve wracking. But here we go, on the glamour shots. The Corvette Summer Corvette. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was nerve wracking. Definitely a challenge. Andrew, thanks for the invitation to the buddy bill. Wow. Guys, if you don't know who Maple Leaf Customs is, go check his channel out. Phenomenal builder. It's kind of like if the president asked you to go play golf, you learn to play golf. <laughs> Anywho, hope you like it. It's rough in spots. But it's kind of like doing cover songs, you know. It's not true to the original, but you know what it is. Until the next one, guys. Take care. Peace, love, and good happiness stuff. God bless.